Welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we describe some of the options available in the Local tab found inside the new Automatic Surface Mesh functionality. Here we are back at the half quadcopter. Let's select the model, and then go to the Create menu, and select Automatic Surface Mesh. Let's get a preview of the size field along with the target edge lengths by clicking the Show Size Field button. Note that we can probe all over the surface of the quadcopter. Near the hub and the symmetry plane though, we see target edge lengths of about 5. If I wanted to limit that to perhaps 3 or less, how would I do that? Well, let me show you how to use the local tab to accomplish this goal. First, push the hide size field button, and then click on the local tab. Here on the local tab, we can set up what are called target resolution values, and we can assign surfaces to those targets. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Click on New, change the max edge length to 3, and I'll go ahead and select the surface and check the box next to it to assign it. But now for a really cool part. We can assign multiple surfaces at once using a wildcard naming technique. Let me show you what I mean. First, let's delete this existing resolution. I'll go ahead and click New, and again, I'll change the max edge length to 3. But there's something I have to tell you. Ahead of time, I renamed all the propeller surfaces to have names that start with the word propeller. And I did the same thing for the hub surfaces too. That lets me use this pattern column right here. So I'll type in propeller star, which is a wildcard. Push enter, and you can see all of the propeller surfaces are now assigned to that particular target resolution. We can do the same thing for the hub. We'll create a new one. Type in hub star. Notice they grabbed all the hub surfaces and assigned them to that one as well. Change the max edge length to 3. Now you may have noticed this priority column over here. This just tells pointwise which one of these will get priority if we have a situation where a surface has both wildcards in the name. And of course you can use the green arrows to change the order of priority. Last but not least is the display frame up here. This allows you to choose how you want things displayed. Okay, let's go back to the global tab and let's show the size field again. Let's go ahead and probe the uh, surfaces again and we can see that around the hub and the symmetry plane they are in the 3-ish range which is exactly what we we're looking for. Let's go ahead and create a surface mesh. If you like this video be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.